Today we are going to be graphing points on the coordinate plane. This is the coordinate plane and I know you've seen this before. Um, we have already done some graphing on a number line and this is very similar only now we're using both an x-axis and a y-axis. While you're watching this video please pause frequently and take lots of notes. Even if it's something you think you already know it's still good to make sure it's in your notes. So the x-axis is the axis that runs horizontally from left to right. Now, if you're not using x and y, the horizontal axis is still the axis of the independent variable. The y-axis is the axis that runs vertical or up and down. And again, if you're not using x and y, then the y-axis is still the dependent variable's axis. When we are numbering our axes, we start at the origin, which is right here in the center. The origin is point zero, zero, always. Now you don't always have to have your intervals going up by one, in this case we do, but your intervals, you have to remember, have to be equal value and equal distance apart. From the origin on your x-axis going to the right, you're going to be going to the positive numbers, and going to the left, you're going to be going to the negative numbers. So positive 1, positive 2, positive 3. From the origin, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And that's always the way you're going to set that up. That's exactly the way we set up our number lines also. Now your y-axis is the same way we would set up our vertical number lines, and I know we don't have as much experience with that. So you need to remember your y-axis is positive as it's going up, negative as it's going down. Next, I want to talk about the quadrants. There are four quadrants on a coordinate plane, which makes sense because quad, the root word means four, which you should know uh, from quadrilateral or if you uh, ride dirt bikes from riding quads have four wheels. So the root word quadrant uh, comes from the word four. The first quadrant, quadrant one, we, for some reason I'm not sure what, almost always use the Roman numerals for the one in quadrant one. Quadrant one is where both your x values and your y values are positive. Your quadrants go counterclockwise from, quadr from quadrant one, so here's Q1 or quadrant one, and they go counterclockwise. Quadrant two, where you have negative x values but positive y values. Quadrant three, where you have negative x values and negative y values. In quadrant four, where you have positive x values and negative y values. Please make sure you have this diagram in your notes. The first example we are going to do says graph the points negative two, four, four, negative two, two, negative four, and negative four, two on the same coordinate plane. Before I even start graphing, there's some things I already know about each one of my points. For instance, negative two, four and negative 4, 2, both have negative x values but positive y values, so you know those are both in quadrant 2. 4, negative 2, and 2, negative 4, both have positive x values but negative y values, so you know those are both in quadrant 4. Now you'll notice I labeled my points x, y, x, y, x, y, and x, y. A lot of people find it easier to label, label their x's and their y's when they're graphing. Now, if you don't find it easier, you certainly don't need to, but quite a few people do. So now in order to plot these points, I'm obviously going to need a coordinate plane, so here we go. Now I'm going to start with negative 2, 4. From the origin, I'm going to go to the left two places because I need to go to the negative x value, and then up four places to go to my positive 4 on the y value. So here we have point negative 2, positive 4. Now we're going to go to the next point, positive 4, negative 2. From the origin, I need to go to the right four places to go to my positive 4, and then down 2 to get my y value of negative 2. The next point, 2, negative 4, again, positive 2, and then down 4 to get to my negatives. And then the last point, left 4, and, sorry, left 4 and up 2. And there you have those points graphed on the coordinate plane. We are going to be spending some time in class graphing some points tomorrow, but if you have any questions, feel free to email your teacher or try rewatching the video.